Next, we're going to talk about some changes to how MIDI data is being displayed, especially when it comes to MIDI 2.0. So I'm opening up the view settings and display MIDI data as 1.0 is there. And there are other choices, a finer resolution display and a percentage display. So why do you need to know this? Well, let me show you by starting out with MIDI 1.0. But before I could do that, I've got to find a MIDI file. So let me grab the first MIDI loop I can find and drag it into the uh, tracks area. I'll open up the piano roll editor and select a MIDI note there. And notice that the velocities are all just whole numbers. Now in a finer resolution, like MIDI 2.0, every whole velocity level is divided into tenths. Now if I switch it over to percent, I still get that finer resolution, but I get to see it as a percentage, which to me is even a better way to look at MIDI data. Now what's really new in this version of Logic is if I go to the list editor, this way of editing now appears here. And of course the list editor is where you really get microscopic when it comes to editing MIDI data in Logic. So no matter how you want to edit MIDI, whether it's in 1.0 or 2.0 or in percentage, well, it's all there, ready for you to dive in. So that's some new MIDI editing features in Logic 10.8. Check it out.